President Michael D. Higgins has led tributes to the disability rights activist Martin Nocton, who has died. The 62-year-old who founded the Centre for Independent Living died this afternoon following a brief illness. A lifetime of campaigning for rights for the disabled. Martin Nocton was born in Spittal in 1954 and had spinal muscular atrophy. He spent most of his childhood in St Mary's Hospital in Baldoyle in North Dublin. A leading figure of many protests, he was unafraid to speak his mind. We got a right kick in the teeth from you this morning, from your government. 450 million going to build more institutions and all our lives are dedicated to closing them down. Well, I'll, I'll say to you about that, Martin, is that the government haven't signed off on any aspect oh, of the budget yet. Don't. In 2012, he led a 24-hour picket at government buildings, forcing the Fine Gael Labour Coalition to reverse cuts to personal assistance. We've been threatened to be institutionalised because they're taking away our PA services. And if they, do, if they take away our PA services, we have no option. I'm here because I'm going to lose my job, I'm going to lose everything else about my life. In 1991, he founded the Centre for Independent Living, leading the way in moving away from institutional care. Usually seen with one of a number of his trademark Tokia style hats, he also worked with the Disability Federation of Ireland, which paid tribute to him tonight. The President, Michael D. Higgins, has called him a tireless advocate, who fought for the right of people with disabilities to live in their own communities and homes. Mr. Nocton died in the North Dublin Hospice this afternoon following a brief illness. Sandra Hurley, RTE News.